Hello everyone, this is Jack from Obedia. Today we're going to take a look at some of the popular preferences and Pro Tools that I like to change before I start any kind of session. Let's take a look at the Preferences menu. So if we go to Pro Tools and go to Preferences here, that will pop this menu up. And one of the things that I like to do is uh, I have a lot of plugins, so I like to organize my plugin menus by category and manufacturer. If I just do the flat list, um, then I have just a huge list of every plugin that I have. That's too long. It takes me a long time to get to the plugins that I, that I want. Um, so a lot of people don't really use the flat list, but um, the category uh, is something that uh, a lot of people do use where they will just look at the plugin based on which category it's in, EQ, Dynamics, etc. Uh, you can also do just the uh, manufacturer or you can do the category and manufacturer. And this way, uh, when I select that option, then I can go in and I can, I can think, okay, well, I know that I'm looking for a universal audio plugin or I'm looking for just any kind of compressor, that kind of thing. So this way is a little bit quicker for me when it comes to finding plugins. So I like to have that. Um, another couple preferences that I like to check are the always display marker colors. So as you can see up here, I have uh, the song kind of uh, arrangement within markers. And if that's not selected, then all I just have is it's just the marker inserts. So I like to have a little bit more information visually, uh, and I, I like to have that selected. Uh, another thing is the default clip color coding. So here, each uh, track color, uh, when I change my tracks, so for instance, the drums in this case are this uh, purple uh, color, I like the clip color to follow my track color. So in this case, uh, if I changed the this low tom to red, then all my clips on that channel will change to red as well. So I like to have some consistency there between all of my different colors and clips. Uh, going back to preferences, a couple other things. Uh, over in processing, I really like to have automatically copy file on import. And basically what that does is when I bring a file into my session, it confirms that that file is going to be in my audio files folder and it's going to travel with the session. Uh, a lot of times people might import something into the session thinking it's in the audio files folder, thinking it's in the session, but really it's somewhere else. And then when they move the session, that file is not there anymore. So it's nice to have that automatically co copy files on import selected. Same thing with the convert copied files to session format. If you import something, let's say at uh, 44.1, but your session is at 96, it needs to make that conversion. So having it automatically convert is a nice kind of thing. Uh, this will also convert files to interleaved uh, and basically make all of your files in that session the same format, which is nice. Uh, so that's about it for the preferences menu there. Uh, a couple other things that I like to have set up, um, you know, whether I'm on slip or grid, most of the time I'm not on shuffle or spot. So uh, if the song is gridded out like this and it's to a click, then I'll have it on the grid. Um, I like to use the uh, the smart tool or the multi-tool where all three of these tools, the, uh, the trimmer, the selector, and the grabber are all selected at the same time. And then up here, uh, I like the current five options that I have on, on. And those are, uh, if you just hover over them with your mouse, you will get, um, it'll pop up with the name of those buttons are. So in this case, it's tab to transients, mirrored MIDI editing, automation follows edit, link timeline and edit selection, and then link track and edit selection. Uh, one thing that is on, sometimes it can be a little, um, one thing that's on sometimes that can be a little frustrating is this insertion follows playback. So if you've ever you know been playing a session and let's say you want to listen to um, the lead vocal at the beginning of the song right here. And then when you're done, you want to come back and you just want to hit play again and come back and hear the same thing. Most of the time, that's what a lot, a lot of people like to do. Um, but if insertion follows playback is on, then watch what happens. And then when I hit play again, it just plays from wherever it stopped. So that can be something that's a little frustrating. That works a little bit more like a tape machine. And the thing that's really frustrating about it is that the shortcut for that is N, the letter N. If you have um, your keyboard focus turned on in the edit window here, if you just hit the letter N, you can see that that goes on and off there. It toggles that. So 
the letter N is pretty close to the space bar. So if you've accidentally hit the space bar and accidentally nudge the, uh, the letter N, then that insertion follows playback could be turned on and that could be annoying. So, so as an overview, I like to make sure my plugins are organized by category and manufacturer, make sure I always display marker color. Um, my track color is linked to my clip color and vice versa. And then in processing, I'm automatically copying files on import, converting copied files to session format, and then also, um, I have these five tools on here, which from left to right is tab to transient, mirrored MIDI editing, automation follows edit, link timeline and edit selection, and then link track and edit selection. So most of the time I have all of those things selected for just about every session that I do. Hopefully that helps you with your workflow at home. Thanks for watching. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.